the family has deteriorated in my lifetime. And we don't even know it. You know, it's like as a, as a, in, in general, as a, as a country or as a, as a, a, people this day and time don't even know. You know, it's like that. You know, we've been given the lie, and now the lie has been perpetuated for so long that we're starting to believe the lie. If you, if you understand what I'm saying, I mean. Now, what would you consider to be the lie? Okay, I brought, I brought a perfect goes. example of that. Okay? That's the only thing I brought written <laughs> down. Okay. okay, the lie, ladies this and gentlemen, is, the lie. This is this is. Uh, I'm not going to mention the name who, who this quote is from because okay. it doesn't matter. Right. But it, I'll may, I'll be able to make my point with it. Uh, this person has a following. That's the scary thing. Okay. Me. Okay. Quote: You have a wonderful child, and then when he's 13, gremlins carry him away and leave in his place a stranger who gives you not a moment's peace. End quote. In my opinion, that's the lie. I bet. If, I believe if you put a hundred people in a room and you and you said this is the way they're going to be, that the vast majority would say that's true, and accept it. Well, I, I on the other hand didn't accept it. Right. Go ahead. So what you're saying is is that, uh, you know, as he's alluding to what you're saying, terrible twos or when they hit 13, the, you know, you're going to have a rebellious whatever talking back kid and you know you just have to endure that and hope for the best it doesn't matter how good your parenting skills are right expect failure yes and that's there's so much danger in that to me expect failure well what are you going to get if you expect failure failure, failure okay uh the, you, you said something about the terrible twos there was nothing terrible about the twos for me <laughs> I, we were right in the middle of it and i heard people say the terrible twos and i'm thinking where did that come from right this is an amazing age Right. My kid wants to be around me. He loves me. He listens to me. You know, what made twos not terrible for me is I established parameters. Right. And they weren't gray parameters. They were, this is the line, and if you cross it, there's a consequence. Yeah, how could you have a gray parameter? But people do that. Yes, this, they, don't, they don't have any defined parameters. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, the they're, afraid, they're afraid to have a boundary because they think it's going to drive the kid away so they make it gray they make it you know but then that just means the kid's going to trample all over it and i have a child my, my youngest child by anybody's standard would be considered a strong-willed child uh, if he'd have been our first child he'd be the only one okay because <laughs> he literally was a super strong-willed kid but i always considered that strong will an asset and i heard years ago i started i started finding parents who were getting the results with their kids that I wanted when I was in my teens because hmm. of what I grew up in. Right. And I heard one parent when I was 19, 20 years old say that my kids love their parameters. Didn't understand it, but I put it in there and it stayed. Right. And then when my kid got to be, my youngest child, for example, when he was two, three, and four years old, I saw him loving those parameters. That was his safety net. Right. There was no gray area about whether his parents loved him or where his lines were drawn, right. and that was his that was his safety net. See, I didn't sign up for the terrible twos, and I didn't have them. Right. I didn't sign up for the terrible teens. Right. And I've got one that's going to be 13 of July, so I'm a little bit apprehensive about being so bold about it. Right. But, but from every indication of Evan, he's he, he, he's a golden kid. I mean, he's he's extremely polite, just pure spirit, hardworking. He's been out here at my property, you know, and we did shooting all day long. Kids, just fantastic job. Of course, Skylar, the younger one, uh, has has a few more years to go. But, yeah, I mean, for Evan to take some sudden turn for the worst would be strange even to someone like me who's an outsider observing your family. So I, I think there's some reason to be confident as far as that goes. But, again, it's, it's, it's not just, you know... Um, based on what we're seeing in him now it's based on what you've always done with him right you know, since you've raised and, him and i've had to my, now i realized early on i realized that when they got when he got to this stage that i was probably going to have to make a bigger adjustment than he was okay the adjustment for me is allowing him to spread his wings right. allowing him to be heaven allowing him to find himself allowing him to spend some time on his own but being right there when he needs me. For example, I don't I don't care about the Beatles. Right. I'm not I don't dislike them, but I'm one of those people I've never bought a CD in my life. Right. Okay. So 
I like music, but I'm not. There, nobody's going to build a market with me. It's free on the radio. That's right. Okay, that's my. <laughs> it's true on the radio. But Evan, he loves music and he he's into the Beatles right now. So, so it's my daughter. Yeah. So he'll call me and say, "Daddy, will you come in here and listen to the Beatles with me?" Guess what I do? Go and listen to the Beatles. I go listen to the Beatles. You go in and turn on the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. We do some of the that. The stones too. were heavier, man. Come on, son. <laughs> that's what he does. Some of that too. But my point is, is that that that's an adjustment for me. Yeah. You know, I could say, oh, I'm not interested. I don't be. No, I'm interested in him. Right. So I'm gonna take advantage. As long as he's opening the door, I'm gonna walk through it. If if I if, when I, and I'm gonna make time. You know, there's so many times I'm sitting in my desk and doing something I'm really involved in, and I'll hear, and I I'm one of those people who get really focused. And sometimes I'll hear daddy, but I don't hear it. Right. It's just in there. And the second or third time I hear daddy, I say, oh, i got to make my stuff stop and right. go, go see what he wants, what they want. Yeah. And guess what? I did that when they were little. I'm, I also believe in reaping and sowing. I think a lot of these parents right. are reaping what they've sown. 